again, welcome back to EDH Deck Building. I am your host, Demo, and this is a Commander Deck Tech for Forgotten Realms. It is Grazalax Illithid Scholar. One blue blue horror three two. So even though it says horror, this is an illithid. You know, that's the creature type from D&D anyway. The illithids are, as you could tell from the picture, these creatures that sort of have these tentacle mouths and they suck your brains essentially right it sort of wraps around your head and they sort of suck your brain energy i guess obviously they didn't want to introduce the illithid creature type into magic because they already had so many new creature types already that i don't think they wanted to overwhelm us so they just made him a horror has some really interesting abilities. Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, you may return it to owner's hand. So already there's a lot there that you could probably build around, but also whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. Man, when I saw this, instantly I knew the direction I wanted to go with it. We want our creatures with that first ability when they become blocked to return to our hand. Okay, so what do we want to use that with? We also want to be getting in for damage to draw cards. So what mechanic works with returning creatures from play to our hand and also getting in for damage? Ninjutsu. I think ninjutsu is an absolute perfect fit in this deck. And there are seven mono blue ninjas, at least the ones that actually have ninjutsu. So that's not a ton, but it's definitely something that's going to work really fantastically in this deck. It's not a complete build around here. We're doing that and some other stuff as well. I actually prefer when a deck isn't super, super focused and you're sort of doing a few different things that all sort of work synergistically together. And I think that's definitely what this deck is doing. So what we can do now is we can ninjutsu in our Ninja of the Deep Hours, for example. And now that it's in play, we can attack with it. And if it becomes blocked, we can just return it to our hand so that we can ninjutsu it out again. But if they don't block it, okay, we'll just get in for damage and Ninja of the Deep Hours is going to draw us a card. And then we'll also get a draw trigger off our grass. So don't want to block it. Works for me. No problem. So either way, it's win-win for us. That's why I think ninjutsu works so fantastically in this deck. I was actually going to do this exact same thing with a Baron deck. Baron Talorian Archmage also works with this theme and that's why of course he's going in this deck when he enters the battlefield return up to one target creature or planeswalker to owner's hand we can return a ninja door hand if we want probably going to bounce our opponent's creatures we want lots of etb creatures in this deck as well because now i have my baron in play i can attack with it if it becomes blocked, I can return it to my hand. Or if it doesn't become blocked, it gets in and I draw a card. Or I can choose to ninjutsu. In comes my Mistblade Shinobi. I return my Baron to my hand, bounce one of my opponent's creatures. Now I can play my Baron again and bounce something else. I mean, there's just so much synergy here. It's fantastic. But on top of that, if your Baron is in play at the beginning of your end step, if a permanent was put into your hand from the battlefield, this turn draw a card. So that's another way we can take advantage of returning turning stuff to our hand all the time. Really, it's almost a hidden commander in a way. You probably could almost swap out Baron as the commander for this deck, and I think you'd be okay. Ultimately, though, Grazalax is even better. Like I said, I tried to do this theme with Baron, and it just wasn't quite there. With Grazalax, it's even better because now, either way, if our creatures become blocked or don't become blocked, it's a benefit for us. I also got Cunning Evasion, which of course is going to be doing the same thing. We always need backups for our commander's abilities in case they're not on the battlefield. One in a blue enchantment, whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, you may return it to owner's hand. Again, that just works fantastically with ninjutsu. And of course we got Bide and Nathasa, Coastal Piracy. We want more effects where our creatures are dealing damage and we get to draw cards. And of course these all stack on top of each other, right? We get all of them from these and from our commander. We get to draw cards from all of them. Our commander is only only whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage. So you're only going to get to draw one there. With Coastal Piracy, of course, you get to draw for each creature that deals damage. So we're definitely going to want cards like that in here. And then we want some cards that we're going to ninjutsu back and forth with. Like Fairy Seer, for example. Fairy Seer is a fantastic fit in the deck. One mana flyer, one one, and when it enters the battlefield, you scry two. So it's going to come into play. We scry two, then we attack with it. 
We can ninjutsu it out. It returns to our hand, so then we can play it again and scry two again. Because it has evasion, it works great with ninjutsu creatures. Also, if it gets blocked, we can return it to our hand and scry two. Or, again, we can just get in for damage, draw a card with it. Any scenario that happens here is going to be good for us. So blinking creatures are also going to be great in this deck. You know, I got Mana War, Duplicant, creatures that come into play. We can bounce a creature or exile a creature and then attack with them. And if they become blocked, we can just return them to our hand. So we use them again, or we can ninjutsu, return them to our hand. There is really no great option for our opponents here. Pilgrim's Eye, Amphin Mutineer. There's lots of creatures that have ETBs we can take advantage of. We can return them to our hand, use them again. So of course, because we have a a lot of ETB creatures. We want Conjurer's Closet and Thassa Deep Dwelling. So now we can just leave that Amphi Mutineer in play and blink it every turn, exiling a creature. I think we also probably do want a couple unblockable creatures, Invisible Stalker and Slither Blade I put in the deck, because that way we're guaranteed to get the card draw. Sometimes we just want to get in for damage. We don't always want to get blocked. We want to get in and get that draw trigger so that we can draw that extra card every turn. Having a Slither Blade in play is great, because if we want to draw the card, we can do that, or if we really want to get one of our ninjas in play and use their abilities we can do that as well i also put a couple creatures in here that just want to be getting in for damage kukumesa pirates and somnophor a couple personal favorites of mine when kukumesa pirates attacks and isn't blocked you can gain control of target artifact defending player controls if you do it assigns no combat damage that's permanently so ideally we attack someone that can't block but if they do block we can just return it to our hand somnophore same thing somnophore has flying so that makes it of course harder to block whenever it deals damage to a player tap target creature that player controls that creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step for as long as Somno 4 remains on the battlefield. This is just a card that I've, I've been wanting to put in a deck for quite some time, and I thought it was a great fit in this deck. Also, I got Military Intelligent and Teferi's Veil. If you're in any deck that's blue that is attacking all the time, these are great fits. There just isn't a ton of blue decks that are attacking all the time, so maybe that's why you don't see these cards as much. Military Intelligence, one in a blue enchantment. Whenever you attack with two or more creatures, draw a card. I think that's very likely. We will be attacking with at least two creatures every time. It's definitely not going to be difficult. We have 38 creatures in this deck. That's a lot. And Teferi's Veil is just going to make it so our creatures phase out at the end of combat. So obviously if we return it to our hand, it's not going to phase out. Our ninjas will now phase out after they deal damage. So we're going to get the effect we want. All the draw triggers we're going to get. Then our creatures will phase out at the end of combat. And it just protects them against board wipes. You know, having tapped creatures sitting on your board, they're just fodder for removal. So having them phase out at the end of combat is really great. I threw Soaring Sea Cliff and Fairy Conclave in the deck. Two cards I just mentioned in my lands you should be putting in your blue commander decks video. Really, I talked about these cards and then immediately saw Grazalex soon after and thought, well, there's a perfect fit for those two cards. Soaring Sea Cliff enters the battlefield tapped and we can give a creature flying. So any of our creatures that we want to get in for damage to maybe get the effect like that Kukumesa Pirates. Now we can give it flying so it has evasion. Fairy Conclave is going to give us a 2-1 flying creature. Again, like I said in the video, it gives us that creature with evasion if we want to get in for damage or if we want to ninjutsu. You know, you can ninjutsu your Fairy Conclave as well. Return it to your hand, throw your Higure of the Still Wind down there, and then just replay your Conclave on your second main phase. Nadir Kraken is a fantastic fit in this deck. I think we are going to be drawing a lot of cards. You can put some more draw effects in here as well. I didn't put too many because drawing cards is just fantastic all around. But Nadir Kraken fits extra well because every time you draw a card, you may pay one. And if you do, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it and create a one, one blue tentacle creature token and those tokens are going to be great for us that's the part that we really want because now we have a bunch of little tokens that we can throw at our opponents if they're blocked return their hand so they disappear who cares but we can get in for damage draw cards we can use them to get that ninjutsu out if we need to so i think that's a great fit in the deck and then vodolian illusionist i think is a fantastic fit in the deck two and a blue 
2-2 Merfolk Wizard, and I talked about this in my 10 cards video. Really, you could put this in any deck. Just pay blue and a blue and tap, target creature phases out. There's so many different ways to use that. You can phase out your opponent's creature if they're about to smack you with it. You can phase out your commander to save it from removal. But in this deck, I really like it particularly because we don't actually know what our opponents are going to do, right? We swing in with a bunch of creatures and... Are they going to block? Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. And there is going to be a situation where we have a creature in play that our opponents block it and we don't want to return it to our hand. We actually want it to stay in play so we can just pay the blue and blue and phase it out. And if it's phased out, when that ability of our commander resolves, it obviously isn't going to return to our hand because it's phased out. So we can use this in a sort of a combat manipulation sort of way where creatures that maybe we don't want to return to our hand we can phase them out. Or if our commander's even not in play and our opponent blocks a creature that we don't want to lose, we can phase it out. So definitely works great in the deck. But that is all. That is Grazalax Illithid Scholar. Really interesting build around. There, there really is almost no bad way to build around this guy. Because like I said, we go in with our creatures and if they get blocked and, you know, great, we'll return them to our hand. And if they don't, we get in for damage and we draw. So essentially, the only stipulation here is you just want a deck where you're attacking with creatures a lot. That, that's about it. You want a mono blue creature deck where you're attacking all the time. And I just thought ninjutsu fit fantastically with this. So there you have it. That's my Grazalex Illithid Scholar deck. And that is it for today. Thanks for tuning in.